you guys Gizmo here and I'm gonna do a full review on the Cinch 1 or the Cinch Gaming uh, Xbox One controller um, I just received mine last night and I probably played with it for about a good uh, five hours already and I think you know I can get a full review on this controller so yeah and as soon as you you know get the box you know while I got the box it was all damaged and you know as you can see from all the there and then uh they're all wrinkled and just damaged you know like it looked like you're fondling and not like fondling with the box way too much or something but you know so I already I already opened the tear the thing open right here so I don't have to you know put down my camera and everything so yeah I'm sorry for my sausage fingers I know they're delicious all right so then open it you know and then I immediately saw this it's all torn and stuff and then you know the cool thing is you know you get a card you know it's all right there it's all nice but as soon as I as soon as I took it out it's all like torn and like just messed up like as you can see like it's just like weird like it's like I don't know and then you know I got the controller you know I immediately saw you know it looked it looked nice you know but as soon as I held it it was just like cheap like some cheap plastic or something like that like from like a sweatshop and then you know my, it's already like open you know there's like a gap right there and you know it's like you can you know I felt it, and it just felt really weird and the trigger stops I was supposed to get adjustable ones but they put normal standard ones and I was like okay you know it might not really make that much of a difference but it actually did because you know that huge gap in between the the trigger right here and the thing like in Call of Duty when you shoot it probably shoots like when you were like right here so basically you have that huge gap still right there and you have to push it all the way more down just to click and it's really pointless if you get standard ones might as well just not get them at all and save your money so yeah um I'm probably going to send it back in to try to fix that. And then, you know, also when I grabbed it, it was like, I can, like, move, like, the, the, the shell. Because it was just, like, so poorly placed. Like, see so if you guys can see this here. It's on this side, my bad. Oh, you can hear that? Here, hold on. Let me see if I can focus. Sorry, I'm showing my camera, my iPhone focus. Right here, okay. Like you can like, you can uh, let's see, uh, you can move it around like, I'm just like, it's like around the shell, it's like the shell is like poor, poorly placed on it, you know, you can like hear it squeak and just, you can like hear, watch, let me see if you can see it better this way, like you can see right there, see it, how it just moves around, you know. And then, you know, I don't know, it just felt really weird. And then, like, the buttons, you know, they move around a lot. You know, like, side to side, left to right, you know, like, they just move up and down. And then, you know, all that stuff. And then when I tried to take out the package, it was so, like, felt, like, felt like a fucking Nintendo. Like, it felt so weird. And I tried to put it back on, and, like, so hard to click, like, slide it in. I tried to slide it in. There you go. Just like, and you know, and it just felt so weird. But you know, I it's the reason why I got the cinch also is because it was cheaper, and you know the pad. I I felt the scuff one before, and the paddles are honestly like right here, like right here. But the buttons like be underneath the paddles, like down here. So basically, if your fingers are like right here when you play, like like this. Like, like this, you have to move your finger all the way down just to make it click. Because if you go up here, it's really not going to feel that, you know, you're not going to really feel a click. And, but the cinch, my, thumb, my finger literally is right there when I play. So that's what I really like about it also. So that's why, but, uh, you know, the scuffs are basically, you know, they, the scuffs feel better. They look definitely way better. and But the paddles are really bad. But the cinch, on the other hand, feels like complete, like a sweatshop from like China made it. But the buttons are perfect, like they're right underneath your finger. So it's basically either, I don't know, it's basically whatever you prefer. Like if you're a pub stomper and all that stuff, Cinch will be perfect for you because you really don't need it. But for tournaments and, tournament and stuff, like MLG events, you want it to last you a long time, so you have to buy one like every month, you know. So, I don't know, it d depends. Just comment comment down below and tell me like what you guys prefer and what you guys like about it or not. But it was my full honest review and you know, I'm not preferring one to the other. 
obviously, because I, I can care less, you know, it's just a controller, but to the majority of the uh, people who play, you know, esports, you know, prefer a controller that feels better, looks better, and actually plays better. So basically, the cinch plays better, and the scuff looks better. It's whatever you prefer, basically. So, yeah, it's me, Gizmo, and I'm out. Peace.